Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Maggie and today's scripture is found in 1 Samuel chapter 15, verses 1-3 through 3 and 7-9. through 9. Samuel also said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore hearken thou unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel, how he laid wait for him in the way, when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek, and utterly destroy all that they have, and spare them not. But slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. And Saul smote the Amalekites from Havilah, until thou comest to Shur, that is over against Egypt. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive, and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agag, and the best of the sheep, and of the oxen, and of the fatlings, and the lambs, and all that was good, and would not utterly destroy them, but everything that was vile and refused that they destroyed utterly. Today's devotional is called, Is Honesty Really the Best Policy? Have you ever heard a friend or sibling tell a lie to someone and just cringe thinking to yourself, just stop? You're digging yourself into a hole. A good example of this is a toddler, face covered in cookie crumbs, trying to convince his mother that he didn't eat any cookies. This is basically what happened in today's passage. God told King Saul to utterly destroy the wicked Amalekites for the atrocities they had committed. God even wanted the animals destroyed. King Saul and his people did what God said almost. They disobediently kept the good animals, the best of the best, and the king of the Amalekites was allowed to live. When the prophet Samuel confronted Saul about why he didn't do as God commanded, Saul claimed that he had obeyed God. Ultimately, Saul's disobedience cost him and his family the throne of Israel because he disobeyed God and lied to try and cover it up. Later in history, the prophet Nathan similarly confronted King David but unlike Saul, David immediately confessed his sins and came clean, and God dealt less harshly with him. Proverbs 12, 22 says honesty is always the best policy. Lying is an abomination to the Lord, but he delights in those who, tr who deal truly, are honest and faithful. Honesty really is the best policy. And today's key verse is Proverbs 12, verse 22. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. And today's thought to glow is a lie is anything spoken with an intent to deceive. Today's devotional was very straightforward and a very clear command that we have from the Lord to tell the truth. And anything that we say that even has the intent to to make someone believe other something other than the truth, it's wrong. And a half truth is still a lie. And it's just more important to come clean to ourselves, to the Lord, and to others because those are the three people that we can lie to. And we can lie to ourselves and try and make ourselves believe that we might be doing the right thing or we might be telling the truth when we're really not doing that. So it's important to um, just be honest with ourselves and confess to the Lord and just not try and hide anything from other people and from the Lord and from ourselves when we have something to confess. So let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you so much for all you do for us, Lord. Thank you for being a forgiving God and a merciful God and graceful, Lord. And you truly are worthy of the praise, Lord. You are amazing, God, to us every single day, Lord. And I pray, God, that as we go throughout our day, Lord, that you would please bless us and that you give us strength, God. I pray that you help us and give us the strength to tell the truth, Lord, to ourselves and to you and to others, Lord. And I pray that um, you would just... Um, let your light shine through us, Lord, and that we would just be um, a peculiar a peculiar people for you, Lord. And I pray that um, you would just keep us safe and bless us and guide us through this day. And in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me on Renew this morning, and I hope you come back tomorrow at 8.05.